kill a vampire with it. <laughs> hey everyone, we're out here in Max Canyon in uh, the northern end of central Oregon and we're going to be doing the Deschutes River Trail. Definitely got a lot of wind, probably some rain, maybe some snow, but let's get going. So this trail follows along an old abandoned train bed for most of its length. So it's a pretty easy, cruisy trail. It's about 26 miles, something you could easily do in the weekend. We decided to spread it out to three days because we had some driving to do to get here. One of the things I really love about the Oregon High Desert is all of the really cool rock formations. It doesn't matter if it's Southern Oregon, Southeastern Oregon, Northeastern Oregon, or even Central Oregon. There's always really cool land features. Apparently there's seven of those uh, places where there were once uh, down trestle bridges. So we've done two, five to go. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty old. It's really heavy. You kill a vampire with it. <laughs> Who wants some water? So it's more or less been a glorified word walk for the last four or five miles. Not too bad at that. I mean, you're walking along the river. It's not like there's lacking for views or feeling like you're in civilization, but it's definitely interesting. Supposedly, it becomes more trail-like the farther north you get. We're calling it an early night tonight, only doing about eight miles. But, you know, we're taking three days, so we're just kind of taking our time. Jen and I picked up a dehydrator here a few months ago and we've started dehydrating a bunch of food and making our own backpacker meals. Uh, this will be our first time actually trying any of them. Hopefully they'll be pretty good. So tonight is pasta salad. One of the first ones we tried. It's uh, cold soaked, but I'm, all, I'm gonna actually cook it because I want a warm meal. Let's see how it turns out. Well, the rain came, so I retreated to my tent, but actually came out pretty well. Um, just a bunch of pasta, garbanzo beans, bell peppers, olive oil, some dehydrated lemon juice. Pretty good. I'm a fan. Overall, I was fairly pleased with the weather today. Um, it said it was supposed to be rainy all day today, and there were some showers, but nothing too bad. It's supposed to snow tonight, but uh, we'll see if that actually is the case. Short day today, but we'll get a start tomorrow and I'll see you in the morning. On a midnight train to Portland. Well, 
No snow last night, but it did rain on and off quite a bit. I'd say it got down to probably the mid 30s. Was uh, plenty of camp spots. I didn't have to worry about finding one off the trail. They are a little bit more exposed than I really wanted it to be, but it turned out not to be too bad. Had a train come through in the middle of the night. That was pretty special. Today we've got about 12 to 13 miles. So that'll leave us about five or six in the morning, which should give us plenty of time to drive back. It is gonna be a rain gear on, rain gear off kind of day, but let's just get going. Well, that was pretty cool. We were hanging out, stopped for lunch, and decided to just kind of wander down a little side trail just to see what was down there. There were petroglyphs. Well, no snow, but it's hailing. You know you have a posh hike when there's outhouses along the trail. Uh, it's been uh, pretty rainy for the last hour and a half or so. I think all of the bad weather we were supposed to have yesterday hit us. I uh, should only have a couple more miles though before we uh, camp up for the night. That'll leave us with five or six in the morning. This weather is making it so I don't really want to push on much farther. All right, are you going to give me a majestic flying away or are you just going to stand there and honk? I think you're just, oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oregon Field Guide, eat your heart out. Hey, the sun finally came out. I was a little worried. We'd been having some pretty wild weather there. It started raining, then it started hailing, then it slacked off. Thought everything was gonna be okay. Then it started hailing again. But horizon looks pretty clear. So hopefully we can enjoy this weather all the way to camp. Well, we were gonna get a little farther today, but the uh, sun came out and we were sitting on the riverbank, kind of just enjoying getting nice and warm and having stuff dry off. And then off on the horizon, another big old gray cloud was coming in. So we pretty much just ran up, set up our tent, and I think we're gonna call it here for tonight. Uh, should still have about seven or so miles tomorrow, but should be no big deal. I'm just going to uh, Enjoy taking it easy and hopefully getting a little warmer. Good morning. It is a beautiful day today. It was about 30 degrees last night. The sun came out this morning. It's starting to warm up. The sky looks good. I think we're gonna have a uh, great weather for the rest of the hike. Supposedly there's going to be some actual trail as opposed to just this continuous road walk, but still even the road walk's not been that bad. I guess we should just get going and see what we can see. nice to be walking off the main road and down some of these tra side trails along the river but be aware that they're not maintained so there is some element of bushwhacking involved and from what I understand ticks are an issue out here I've been kind of paying attention I think it might be a little early in the season for me but just take that under advisement too if you're gonna come down here
now that I'm down out of the wind, I can talk. Took a little side trail that took us up on the side of the canyon. We got to see the Columbia River get off the road walk for a little bit. I know a lot of people, road walking is just not their jam, but I gotta say, this has actually been a pretty nice trail, all things considered. I mean, you never lose sight of the river at all. There are plenty of little side shoots you can go down if you're getting tired of being on the road. And it's just a different way to experience a hike. Well, wanted to thank everyone for following along on my first hike of the season. Got several more planned, including a two to three week stint on the PCT, filling in more miles. If you want to see more content, hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.